Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Fantasy Star 4 The End of the Millennium, and when last we left off, we rescued a student from the Church of Zeo who had not been eating well, and so was really weak, and then we rescued a child who'd fallen down a hole in the ground and was eaten by a blob monster. But enough of that, it's time to go to outer space at long last. The game has been hinting at it, and now we're going to do it. We're going to go to this place here, where a spaceship is located. And hopefully this spaceship will be able to take us to where we want to go. Also, I think these will heal us up. Marvelous! Magical technology healing! Brilliant. Where do you want to go? We can see here the Algo system. There is the Sun, there is an asteroid belt, which is the remnants of Palma, there is Matavia, which we're currently on, the red planet, and there is the Zorus, the blue planet. We're only able to go to Zeeland. So let's go! I hope that this thing can power itself. It looks pretty cool! The music's pretty cool too! Off we go! Into outer space! Artificial Satellite, Zealand. This music is quite cool. It looks very advanced. And we've docked! We are in space! Here is the Zealand Starbase, the space station in orbit of Batavia that controls all of Batavia's systems. Let us go down and in and see who we can find. We can find lots of loot, a plasma sword, a plasma claw, and a plasma dagger. Well, the game's gone, hey, you don't have some cool stuff? Have some cool stuff. Here is a plasma sword. And a second plasma claw. An essential upgrade indeed. We do not need the knife, though. Anything else here? More loot. A canceller, a pulse laser, and a plasma field. What is a plasma field? Let us uh, have a look at all of this. A shield that is made from plasma. This is most certainly a gun. It fires quick pulse uh, laser pulses. And uh, what about the canceller? An all-purpose sensor with stealth capabilities. Well, there's only one way we can go, and that is this way. Up here. It's a very advanced facility. I think this is probably Ren. Also, you are very tall. Nearly a head higher than, um, Chaz. Let's say hi. You... are you Ren? Wow, you're huge! In verity, my name is Ren. This is the man-made satellite Zealand, which has complete control over all the environmental systems for all the planets in the Algo solar system. So it's not just Batavia this place controls! I am the android who manages it all. Rika, finally we meet face to face. Yes, Ren, I didn't know that you were so tall! Everybody comments on the fact that I'm tall. Is it that apparent? Yes, it really is. And these other people? These are my friends, Chaz and Rune. They're great pals. Who and who are great pals? Whatever. Anyway, glad to meet you. Demi told us that the reason the systems in Batavia are out of control could be found here. We've come to try to cure the problem, but from the looks of it, it doesn't seem likely. That's right, Zeeland is not causing the systems in Batavia to run out of control. We have no control at all. What does this all mean? Presently, Zeeland is losing power. It is the artificial satellite, Curran, that is causing the Batavian systems to run amok. Originally, Curran was supposed to play a supportive role to Zeeland, but somebody has occupied Curran and usurped our control. Is that so? Since Zeeland is at the top of the chain of command, Demi must have determined that it was Zeeland that had gone awry. Zeeland's telecommunication functions are paralyzed. There isn't even a way to communicate. So that's why we were incommunicado. I was so worried! So this means we have to go to Curran. Chaz, if it is okay with you, may I accompany you? Zeeland is presently completely cut off from all the other systems. It is impossible to do any system restoration from here. I was hoping to go to Curran to get the situation under control. Oh, Ren, it would be so reassuring if you came with us. Wow, you have a lot of faith in Ren. 
Ren is huge and built like a tank. I'd have a lot of faith in him too. He's also probably at least a thousand years old and still working perfectly. They built androids to last back then. Oh yes, Ren and Seed were my teachers. This current crisis was brought about by my lack of power. I must take responsibility. It seems that Seed has left me responsible too. Ren. Why don't we get a move on? Rune, you're being a little bit rude. Stop trying to take charge, Rune. Alright then, you take charge if you can. What did you say? Rika, what's going on here? Oh, this happens all the time. And so, we have Ren in our party. Let us talk! The cause of the system's abnormalities turns out to be in Curran. The artificial satellite Curran? What did you say was happening there? Can we have a look at this? Curran caused the disasters on Batavia. Zealand systems are all functioning normally. So that was it? Let's have a look at what uh, Ren can do. Let's have a look at his equipment, too. We have a pulse laser, which is uh, a downgrade. We don't want to uh, equip that. In fact, all of this stuff is just a downgrade. So let us leave. There is nothing we can do here. So I suppose the only thing we can do is leave. And maybe go to Curran. Hopefully Curran is not uh, full of monsters. Or robots. Well, we can now go to Curran. It is the only place we can currently go. And it is in uh, the same orbit as, um, Dezorus. Let's go. Curran will be the destination. Hopefully you can pilot this, uh, Ren. What's going on? Something feels wrong. Uh-oh. There is an unidentified energy reaction coming from the engine room. Problems in the engine room? That's bad. Well, let's go see what's going on. I told you, stop taking charge! Yikes! Who... who are you? Oh my, I've been found out already. Well, it doesn't matter now whether I sabotage the engines or kill you right here! You're not getting to Corrin! Who are you? You will never know! Boss fight with a Chaos Sorcerer! This design of a uh, character was in Fantasy Star 1. We finally get to see what um, Ren can do! Let us use our abilities, starting with Crosscut. You're going to use, um... Let's see, you're going to use, uh... You're going to use Sana just to uh, speed us up. We're going to treat this like a boss fight. It has the boss fight music. You're going to use, uh, let's see how good, uh, this ability is. What do you have? Barrier, Spark, Flare, and Recover. Hmm. Let's just attack for now. Everyone is faster. Good. 104. And that was entirely ineffective. Magic. And let's use, uh, let's see, Crosscut again. And we'll use, uh, let's see, I think Deban is fine. More magic, more attacks. That's a... Oh. You weren't a boss at all, were you? We got experience. Room gained a level up, which is good. And an ability. Uh-oh. Yippee! It's great that we won! Well, we're really out of commission now. Rune. Couldn't you have applied a little bit of self-control? Was that Rune? Did Rune do this? Shut up! You're in no position to talk. We're off our intended flight path. It's impossible to get back in that orbit. We will be able to make a crash landing on Dezolus, a third planet in the system. Shall we try? What do you mean, shall we? We have no choice, do we? This is true. One crash landing coming up. Whee! A crash landing! Cool! That is nothing to, uh, celebrate. What are you saying? Hey, hey, are you okay? Hey! Calm down, Chaz. You should endeavor not to let your blood pressure become too high. That is unhealthy for you. We're about to crash! And you should keep a level head. Relax. Why are you all looking so unconcerned? Yikes! That doesn't look good. None of this looks good! A third planet in the Algo Solar System. 
It's an extremely cold planet covered in snow and ice. And crash we will. It's a big ship. And now it's powered down. Oh. Hello? Hmm, we're safe, but... Wow, what a flamboyant landing! How strange, it's raining machines! Huh? You... What on earth are you? Ah, it's a Dazolian. It's the first one I've ever seen. And I think it might be a Dazolusian? Either way, it's a native of Dazolus. Answer me, you bonehead! You've destroyed an important temple! Oh, uh, uh, sorry about that. Chaz, is anything wrong? It looks like we've crushed someone's house. Very observant of you. Who are you people? A girl with horns and a mechanical doll? These are ears, I tell you. Please use the word android, will you? An android, the droid, whatever. Quiet, you old fart. Well, this is going well. I see. From Batavia. That explains, 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 really helped out. On a ship that flies. Or flew, anyway, before it fell. That's extraordinary. All Batavians flee, fly, and fall right on my temple hall. Ha ha ha, what a funny old man. Uh... Chaz, this shuttle is done for. It's beyond repair. What shall we do? Hey, old man. My name is Raja. You better remember that, little girl. Ah, uh, yes, Raja. Are there any facilities where we can fix this ship? None that I know of. Then how are you going to fix our ship? Uh, how's he going to fix it? I'm not, but <laughs> I do have some welcome news for you. What, 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 what? There is another ship that could travel the skies. There are other spaceships on Desolus? Tell us where, old man. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you, but on one condition. A condition? This sounds interesting. Take me along. What? Well, if you do, I'll overlook the destruction of the temple. I don't want to drag this old man around with us. What shall we do? I don't mind. I like him. He's kind of interesting. I don't think we have much choice. It seems a very practical choice. Oh? Then let's go! Great! Now listen carefully. A long, long time ago, Parmanians came to Dezolus on a ship that traveled the skies. It is said that the ship still exists in the town of their descendants. Is this true? Of course it's true! It might not be true. Chaz, under the circumstances, we have no choice but to rely on this information and go there. And where is this town? It's a Parmaian town called Tyler, a short distance northwest of here. Everyone, let's get going! Alright, alright. We now have Raja. He's level 25! To get to Curran, we'll have to find that spaceship Raja told us about. So that means we're going to the town of Tyler, northwest of Raja's temple? Before doing that, why don't we take a little break at the inn in Ruyan? You'll be able to hear a lot of fun stories. You won't regret it. <laughs> Great. I like Raja already. Can we go in? This is the wreck of the shuttle ship. I guess it'll never fly again. By the way, it's your fault. My fault? It was your magic? Oh, never mind. What techniques can, uh, Raja do? Wow, that's a lot of techniques. We have quite a lot of healing. Let's talk to uh, you two, shall we? Raja, sir, are you taking another pleasure trip to the country? You needn't come along this time, so make sure you guard what's left of this place in my absence. And we'll talk to you. Are you going to be okay without us? Oh, I'll be fine. It's boring staring at the same faces all the time. I like Raja. Let's go, shall we? Out of here, and in to the freezing cold. Wow, what a heavy snowstorm. 
this has been going on for three months now. This planet has always had a cold climate, but even I have never seen anything like this. There must be a malfunction in the Dazolian climate control system. No, I bet the cause of all this lies in the Garuberg Tower. The Garuberg Tower? Raja, what makes you think that? It's a feeling I have, and my feelings are always good. Get it? There was a pause there. Ha ha ha! Ouch. Yeah, I think he likes to tell jokes. Let us head over to here first. To Ruyan. This is Ruyan. If you want to have fun, this is the town. I just can't avoid this town when I'm passing by. Ha <laughs> ha! I like Raja. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. A nice, fun character to have around. The owner of the bar is named Gurian, and he knows the most about the situation around these parts. If you want to know something, that's where you should go. Two Fists is the best situation. Are you going to tell jokes all the time? Yes, you are. What is this fire? The Dezolaceans? It is the Dezolaceans, fair enough. The Dezolaceans believe in fire. This watchfire is an object of their worship. I'm glad you believe in fire, because if you didn't, it might disappear. It's not going to disappear. Gumbia's temple is the Zolusian source of pride. It's the center of the Zolus, and it's the pillar of support for the hearts of the Zolusians. Let us talk to you. I've seen Parmanians from time to time, but this is the first time I've seen a girl with horns. Oh, how dare you! <laughs> I told you, to normal people, they look like horns! We're going to talk to everybody in the overworld before we talk to, uh, anyone inside the buildings. Oh, you're a Parmanian. Are you from the town of Tyler? It looks like they've flapped all the way here from Batavia. Ah, okay. Will you cut it out, you old fart? No, never cut it out, Raja. You are amazing. Anything over here? Probably the exit. If we go this way, yep, that's the exit. Let us, uh, this is literally cut out from the snow. Hopefully we can do something about the snow. In the temple to the south, there's a highly virtuous and wonderful priest named Raja. Highly virtuous? Wonderful? Yeah, right. I don't think they know you very well, Raja. What? I'm virtuous and wonderful, right? Uh, maybe? Can something be done about this snowstorm? We'll try our best. Oh, Raja the Great One. You are certainly with some strange traveling companions this time. Raja is our strange traveling companion. How could you say something like that? I thought we were friends. We have admittedly barely known you. Hmm, I've just finished shoveling away the snow. You did a fine job. Let's keep walking around. There's a weapon store here. The Garuberg Tower is supposed to exist somewhere in Dezolis. It is said it was built overnight. Built overnight? I seem to have heard this story before. The Ladea Tower. There are many Parmanian towns in Dezolis, and the town of Tyler to the northwest is one of them. This cold weather we're having now is hard even for us. I hate to think how horrible it is for the Parmanians. It's hard for them, but they'll survive. All right, let's go and look everywhere in this place and talk to everyone. At least inside is nice and cozy. Oh, great Raja! Thank you for amusing us with your funny wit. I just feel that I can't keep up with the Dezolusian sense of humor. I don't think anyone can. Let's have a look at this fire. Looks nice. It's a fireplace. It's nice and warm. Oh, joy! I'm not surprised that you're happy about that. Somewhere around here is going to be the inn, and it's certainly going to be a place, apparently. Anyone in here? What with this snowstorm, the ability to travel in and out of town is unreliable. There are many places where the roads are obstructed by ice. On winter nights, we huddle so tight, saying ice is really nice. How's that? <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I'm so funny! Uh, let's just keep going. That's probably the inn. Before we hear more puns, that is. We're gonna hear more puns. It's inevitable! 
It's so nice to sit by the fire and listen to Guyana's stories. The inn is our source of relaxation. Speaking of the inn, we're going to be going there. The inn, I think, is right here, this big building. Oh yes, there's a lot of people here. But exploring it will be for next time. For when we come back, Raja's hilarious Jokathon has begun, and we are on another planet. I don't think Chaz is particularly happy to be on another planet. But hey, we're here, and maybe we can do something about the uh, climate of Dezolus. We really need to, otherwise I think this planet is just as doomed as Matavia. And so, when we come back folks, travelling the cold wastelands of Dezolus with Raja! He'll warm up any conversation with his wit and his humour. Maybe. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.